good evening, everybody. Good evening. Even on the TV land. <laughs> oh, mercy. Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. We'll start with that. And if we want to make a title, sharing the hope. Sharing the hope. I was going to sit down, but I don't think I can. <laughs> Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. We were reading all the way down to verse 25. So bear with us there. A lot of scripture, but let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for this day together, Father. Lord, how we pray, be with our pastor. Lord, strengthen him. Give his body the calmness and strength that he needs, Father. Lord, how we pray to see him again this Sunday, Father. Lord, how we pray, just encourage him. And Father, I thank you for the privilege of being here, Father, and hearing your word. Father, we need to hear from you today. We need our gas tanks filled up again, Father. Lord, how we pray that uh, the word will speak to our hearts. And Father, your word tells us it will. And Father, thank you again. Lord, let's be with us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans in chapter 8, verse 18. So I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. <laughs> I read this verse and I started thinking right off the bat of all the suffering people gone through of, well, not able to have their car, not able to have their house, not able to have a lot of things they had and they had all the time. But... For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together unto now. And not only they, but our, all, our, <laughs> ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to it, the redemption of our body. Verse 24, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope? For, verse 25, if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Thinking about uh, <laughs> how the Lord had dealt with uh, John and how John had spoken and how the uh, times of, let's go there once. John chapter, I think it's chapter 20. John chapter 20. Go there. And uh, my wife says, you got to have to slow down so I can catch up to you. Chapter 20. And verse 29. Verse 29. Speaking about this hope that lies within us. Jesus said unto them, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. Verse 31. But these are written, that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. We see there the hope that we have, Father, the hope that we need every day, the strength that God has given to us. But we see here that thing is sharing that hope. We, it's time for us to stop hiding it and start sharing it. And that's been plain and truth about the whole thing. In 2 Thessalonians in chapter 2, verse 16. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16. Go there. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 16. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself 
and God, even our Father, which loves us and has given us everlasting consolation or comfort, good hope through grace. We see there how God, his hope, and how he had trusted in that, on him. Colossians in chapter 1, verse 5. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. The hope, the hope that we have. Thank the Lord we know where we spend eternity. And we have to put your trust in that, thinking about Gary and his situation. And... Uh, Losing his wife for actually 40 some odd years, and uh, he just can't cope with it. And I like, oh my, where is his faith right now? It must be very shallow. And how he need to be in God's house is so important to be in God's house, to be encouraged by the people and praying, to pray for him and encourage him. And Lord, how I thank you for this pastor willing to take him under his wing. But we see in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or the manner of the time of spirit of Christ, which is in time did signify. When he had testified beforehand, the suffering of Christ, and the glory that should follow. In verse 20, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest and known in these last times for you, who by him did believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God, trusting in him. He's given us everything, given us life and breath even today. Oh, how we have that hope. We need to share what we do have. Let's go to First Peter and chapter 1, verse 7. First Peter chapter 1, and verse 7. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold, that precious, that though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Christ. Verse 8. Whom having not seen, ye love. Stopping there for a minute. We just read Paul, uh, John talking about, talking about uh, doubting Thomas. And yes, doubting Thomas has seen him but the ones that have not seen Christ and his gone and had seen him die on the cross. But here, we see here in that verse here, whom have not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Thank the Lord for that verse 8, whom not seen. That's us, folks. That's us. We have never seen Christ. We see the Word of God and some description of him, but we have never known, seen him personally. We've seen pictures of uh, people that have uh, depicted Christ, but that's not good enough. But we will see him. We will see him. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 26. Go there. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 26. Hebrew, esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasure in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense for reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Yes, to us, Christ is invisible to us right now, because he's never walked with us, never talked with us. The word of God speaks to us. Yes, I thank the Lord for that. But we see here, he's, we've never been down the road of, of Emmaus and uh, spoke with God and God speaking to us at that time. No, we were never there. But just think of the things we have looked forward to much more than that. But we see here, and I go on another little scripture here. And uh, 
Romans in chapter 15 and verse 1. Just a few scriptures talking about where we really stand. Where we really stand. Romans chapter 15 and verse 1 all the way down to verse 4. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. If we know Christ, we should be an encouragement to the ones around about us and giving them strength. Where are we getting our strength from? We're getting it from God. Should we not be bare and share the, what God has given to us? Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Verse 3, for even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the approaches of them that reproach thee fell on me. In verse 4, and whatsoever things are written aforetime were written for through the patience and comfort of the scriptures it might have hope. Oh, I thank the Lord for that hope that we have. These scriptures are for us today, not for last year, not for just the history part, not just the poetry, not just the future, but the whole word of God, the whole word of God. We have there Titus in chapter 2, verse 11, go there. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11, sharing, sharing. Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly and righteously and godly in this present world. Oh, how we looking for the, the God, uh, blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 13, looking for that blessed hope. I'll tell you, there's a lot of friends that I have in heaven today. And I'm waiting to see them. And uh, God has kept me for here for a little while longer. And he kept you here for a little while longer, thinking that one particular person lost his wife and child. Oh, my Pray for him that he might get through that. Because I tell you, you figure the losing your wife and here expecting a new infant, that's devastating. They have to trust in the Lord. And it's so important that other Christians be around sharing that hope that we have. Sharing, disciple them, whatever you want to call it. Sharing them. See that verse 13. For that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a particular person, zealous for good works. And I thank the Lord for that, I'll tell you. <laughs> we need that for sure. We see there in First Peter in chapter 3 and verse 15, sanctify yourselves, the Lord God, in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you. The meekness and fear, uh, with meekness and fear, I tell you, <laughs> being always at any time try to give a person the word of God, if it's only a small bit of information, uh, and everything I start talking to somebody, I say, well, you know, uh, we had a lot of hailstones hit our church, and so I try to bring that involved in there, and saying, well, what do you think about that? And, and the, but just idea, try to, try to give a little seed that there's hope, there's hope, there's hope, but sharing that hope, we have that in Colossians in chapter 4, verse 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how you ought to answer every man. How to answer him. What should you give him? What should you give them and to help them along life's pathway? Oh, it should be some prayer. It should be encouragement for them. I'll tell you, it's really hard for anybody to get through that situation. But I want to go with a little scripture here. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 1 all the way down to verse 4. 
1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 through 4. Up oh, there goes that thunder again. The Lord's not done with us yet. <laughs> For 1 Corinthians in chapter 15, verse 1. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Stopping there just for a minute. This was given to the church at Corinth. The Christians there. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you, the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Verse 2. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. Where is your hope? What are you trusting upon? Verse 3. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the Scriptures. Oh, I tell you, you think of that Ethiopian eunuch. He's in that, <laughs> in that uh, in carriage, if you want to call it that. As you're riding there, and, and here we think of Andrew, and he's told to go and speak to him, and how he, he went and spoke. Did I say Andrew? No. <laughs> So we see how he did go. He did speak to him. He says, do you understand what you're reading? You're reading the word of God. Do you don't understand it? No. I need some man to show me how. And that's the basic thing. Somebody has to show us the word of God. Somebody has to be the hope, showing the hope that we have. And that's what we need today. And let us close in prayer today. Father God, I thank you for your word, the hope that you have for us, Father. Lord, our encouragement. Father, how we pray for our pastor today, that you just strengthen him. Father, how we pray for Sunday, Lord, as we see Jacob and his dear wife come and be part of the fellowship here and helping us. And how, Father, how we pray for the safety for them as they travel still yet now. And Lord, how we pray that we might have show forth the hope that we have, Father. Maybe we don't have that. Thinking about the people who's in TV land, maybe they don't have that hope, and they need to trust in Christ even today. Father, how we pray. God has sent his son to die for us, to give us the life eternal. Have our sins forgiven. And Lord, how we pray that you just be with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all, folks.